Wow, stories. Am I an idiot if I tell my friend her BF is planning to propose? My female 27 best friend has been dating her boyfriend male 26 for over five years. A while back, he reached out to me to help figure out ring size and the setup so he could make this the most magical day for her. Having known my friend for over 20 plus years, I know exactly how she wants her proposal to go and who she wants to be there. So I relayed all this information to him months ago via texts and over the phone. I even took the time to covertly find and confirm which ring she would love the most. A little background. My friend is incredibly family and friend-oriented, and in the past expressed to me on multiple occasions, especially during holiday season, that in the five years they've been together, he hasn't really made much of an effort to indoctrinate himself into her family or friendships the way she has for his. While I do generally like him, I have always felt that he is incredibly self-serving and self-focused. Recently, through a mutual friend, I found out he started a group text between his, emphasis on his, friends and his family, to set up the time and date of the proposal. He has not only excluded myself, and according to the screenshots I've seen, he is doing everything verbatim I suggested he do but he has completely excluded her family and other close friends from the event. He is planning on only having his boys and family present for the occasion, and knowing my friend, this would ultimately break her heart not being able to share this moment with her loved ones. I got heated and called him. At first he was dodging my questions, then just outright said, This is my proposal, and I've spent enough time and money to choose how I do it. Just be happy for your friend. It's not like you're not coming to the wedding. This infuriated me. And to make matters worse, I ran into her mom and dad at the grocery store and subtly asked if they knew of any possibility she was getting engaged. They were unaware. And I know for a fact my friend has told him that he needs to ask her parents for their blessing. She's somewhat traditional. My friend wears her heart on her sleeve, and I can predict how this event will go down when she sees all of his close friends and family and none of hers. Considering her previous sentiments about his lack of interest in her family slash life, she will 100% see this as being hurtful and selfish, and I know she'll cry. To make matters worse, the location of the proposal is a whopping 30 minutes from her parents' home. I don't want to get involved in a fight or reveal the surprise, but on the other hand, I feel I owe it to my lifelong friend to help her avoid being hurt and disappointed. Maybe even helping her rethink what her future would look like with someone who just doesn't really appreciate what she values in life. So, am I an idiot if I tell my friend her boyfriend is going to propose? Edit. I did not tell her parents. I covertly inquired if he had spoken to them yet about proposing since it's been five years like in a joking way. Edit 2. The proposal is scheduled for this weekend. I will give you guys an update on how it goes. After so many responses, I have decided not to say anything and to let things play out. I gave him an opportunity by expressing the need to invite her parents and friends like she's always wanted, and he chose not to. That's on him, not me, not an idiot. Do not tell her. As much as you know her and want this proposal to go as planned, it is ultimately up to her boyfriend how he wants to do it. If your friend is disappointed, then that can be her sign to discuss with her fiancé about moving forward. It is not your place to tell her or intervene at this point. No idiots here. Don't tell your friend. I completely understand why you want to, but hear me out. Let this dude show his true colors. If you get in the middle, you seem petty and jealous. Let him propose his way, and when your friend comes to you and complains, you can kindly and gently tell her that you tried to get him to incorporate her friends and family. Then you can gently ask her if she wants to spend the rest of her life with a man who doesn't honor her wants desires. I repeat, just let this play itself out. You would be an idiot if you interfere prior to the proposal. Should she interfere? Let me know in the comments. Now, would I be an idiot if I turned my friend in for cheating? My friend, female 23 and I, female 24, are roommates and also classmates. Over the past year, I have watched her become increasingly lazy and irresponsible to the point I don't want to live with her anymore. When we first moved in together, she was pretty laid back like me. 
Lately, she's constantly having guests over and letting them stay over late into the night when she knows I am in bed by 9 or 10 and am up at 6 a.m. for work. She's getting drunk and generally not pulling her weight around the house despite me repeatedly asking her to actually clean up. My peace and quiet are non-existent at this point. That's already bad enough, but the last straw has been her slacking at school and expecting me to help her. She's barely paying attention and going to class hangover, so of course she's not learning all that much. Now she wants me to share my homework answers with her and plagiarize my work, and I'm so aghast that she would even ask. How entitled do you have to be to ask someone to give away what they actually put in the effort for? She's self-destructing fast enough and now plans to pay someone for answers. I'm just about fed up with this nonsense and have half a mind to clue our teacher in. I just don't have patience for irresponsible BS, and she doesn't deserve to skate by while the rest of us actually do what we're supposed to. There's just no excuse and it's not okay. If I'm being honest, I am hoping she would get booted from the school and then would have no reason to live with me anymore, but that's neither here nor there. She doesn't deserve to be in class if she's not committed to it. Not an idiot, college prof. Here normally, I would say to contact the teacher, but as of now, you don't have any proof of what she's doing. I would talk to the prof during office hours and explain why you are concerned. It might help to say that you're worried that she might steal your assignments to copy them. Then you've brought it to the prof's attention. But you haven't accused her of anything without proof. Not an idiot. I had a friend whose roommate was just like this. He stole answers from my friend and nearly got both of them kicked out of school. I wouldn't be surprised if she's copying OP behind her back. Colleges take plagiarism extremely seriously and you should protect yourself. Without evidence, the school may not do anything, but by informing them, you could save yourself trouble down the line. OP, you don't owe this girl anything. Should she turn her in? Let me know in the comments. Now, am I an idiot for not picking my girlfriend's daughter up from an event? I'm 37 and I've been in a relationship with a mid-40s woman, Amy. She doesn't want to tell me her specific age, which I don't mind, for about a year. She has a 17-year-old daughter I'll call Jess. Over the weekend, Jess had a school event and had asked me for a ride in advance. I didn't mind in the slightest. I drove her over to the school and we had a nice chat in the car. When she got out, though, a bunch of her friends were there, and she waved to me and shouted, Later, creepy stepdad, with a huge smile. I think it was a joke to her friends. They laughed, and I stared awkwardly for a few seconds. Then Jess said, Go, go, literally shooing me away. I drove home thinking whatever, but over time it started to really grate on me. I know that she wanted to just show off for them, but I didn't want to be stuck in a car with a girl who considered me creepy in any way. I shot her a text around that time that she would have to find another way to get home. She didn't see my text for some time, but a few hours later she called me asking for a ride. I told her that I couldn't do that as I had had a couple of drinks, which was true. Then she half hung up on me and apparently called her mother. Amy was busy working on something at the time and told me that I needed to get over there and pick her up. I responded that she could walk, get a ride from her friends, or take public transportation. It was 8 p.m. in one of the safest cities in our country, and she was going to be fine. Amy then walked away, grabbed my keys, and drove off in my car, despite having a suspended license. About 15 minutes later, Amy came home and shrieked at me about my treatment of Jess while Jess evacuated to her room. I told her that she really shouldn't be driving without a suspended license, and Amy said she wouldn't have to if I were more responsible. When I reminded her of why her license was suspended, she got furious. It's a pretty touchy subject, and told me she'd leave if she had anywhere else to go. I brushed her off with a lame, that sounds like a you problem, and we haven't talked since. Not an idiot. But considering she thinks it's okay that her daughter speaks to you that way, she thinks it's okay to drive your car when her license is suspended so anything happens and your insurance won't cover you, and also her comment that she'd leave if she had somewhere else to go, think you need to reevaluate the relationship, sounds like she is using you. Everyone sucks here. Why are you dating someone who wouldn't tell you their actual age? That is such basic info. What else is she not telling you? That is so weird. Showing off in front of friends by being shitty to someone else is not cool or acceptable in any way. If you already told her you will give her a ride, you shouldn't have left her stranded. Be the bigger person. 
kill them with kindness, and so on. 